Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. In this lecture, we'll try to see the foundation details uh, for this particular building. So, if you remember, in the previous lecture, we had understood about all these uh, footings, right? Like C1, F1 footing. Then we had C2, F2, the lift part, and all. Now, for the same building, we'll see how it has been worked out. Okay. So again, you can see it here. Proposed construction, and it's given here column footing details. So we'll start with one by one. Again, this is for C1, F1, and this is for C2, F2, and then after that they have given this for C3, F4, and this is for C3, F3. Okay. So three and another one, four things we have got. So again, this thing we already understood. Okay. Again, you can see it here. C1, F1. There are 29, 29 numbers of C1, F1 footing. Now I'll just zoom out this. So that you get an idea what exactly I'm trying to tell. We already understood this through with, with our first commercial building. Again, six feet three inch by seven feet six inches excavation line. And again, it's a step footing. This is your first step, which is five feet nine inch by seven feet. The second step is two feet nine inch by four feet, right? And then again, the column size is 12 inch by 24 inch. So it comes out to be two feet. Now, again, it's mentioned here steel you have to provide 12 diameter bar at six inches center to center spacing in both the way along the shorter span and also along the longer span and rcc footing first step is seven feet by five feet nine inch uh, by 12 inch okay that is a depth and second is four feet by two feet nine inch by 12 inch. this is my second step coming to the column it's a 12 inch by 24 inch so in the column you're supposed to provide a 20 diameter six bar and a 16 diameter four bar so this one two three four the middle four bars are of 16 diameter and the outer three and this outer three all to six are 20 diameter bars again coming to the lateral ties you have to provide an 8 mm lateral ties at 6 inches center to center spacing and one is your mastering and the other one is going to connect the center portion right yeah and coming to the cross section again it's understood you have to provide a 4 inch thick uh, pcc bed then this is your first step which is a 12 inch thickness then this is your second step which is a 12 inch thickness and then of course the column and the reinforcement you can see it here so this was all about the c1 f1 similarly i'll zoom out this just concentrate here this is for C2, F2, uh, right? It's hope it is understood to you. Just concentrate and try to understand. And coming to the lateral ties, here we have three lateral ties. Like one is the master ring, which will connect all the rebar. Then we have another two, one, yeah. Yeah, then we have another two. I think it will be connected in this way. That is, if I try to draw it. So this will be your master ring, okay? Which will be connected everywhere. After that, the next one will be something like this. Yeah. So from here to here, it will be connected. Okay. And the next one is going to be connected in this way. Yeah. This one. Okay. So this is how the connection will be done. I think. Yeah. So that is how the connection should be done. Let me check it once again. So one will go completely. The other one will be completed in this way. Yeah, so we'll do it in this way. So this is your mastering. So after that, maybe from here to here. Okay. And then the next one will be from here to here. Yeah, from here to here. This is a this is how it is given. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think that is not the way I rechecked it. See, actually it will be something like this. So one will be completely. Okay. That is your master ring. After that, your next ring will go in this way. This one. Okay. And then the next ring will be this one, this four bars. Okay. So this is how the ring is given. Got it. So this is how you're supposed to do it. Hmm? Uh, the previous thing, what I told that is not the right one. Okay. The one which I explained now, no, that is the one, one is a master ring. The next ring will be connected in this way. And then the next will ring, next ring will be connected here. So three rings. So that is why you can see one Then your two, this is your two and this is your third. Yeah. Now it is visible to you. Let me quickly do that. This is one. Okay. Then we have this second one and then the third one in this. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So again, for the cross section, again, you have to refer here. This is a cross section. Now we'll come to the C3F3 footing, which is nine numbers. 
and again here it's all same thing there's no changes again one is a mastering and the second ring we have the rest all things you can see it here so you know it how to understand by this time and now coming to the c3 f4 footing that is a lift portion wherever we had those uh, lift isn't it so that is a point where these uh, things are going to come again coming to the cross section you will be able to understand of course the pcc and then a kind of a raft foundation is given here okay which is one feet four inches so it is supported by uh, altogether the four columns will come one two three four columns will come since we are seeing the section now so that is why we can see only the two columns here so this will go up to the basement floor okay and we have a retaining wall here so this is a retaining wall so i'll show you the exact picture of that see yeah so that retaining wall is this particular retaining wall okay you can see everywhere here so all these are my retaining wall yeah mm -hmm. so this rcc retaining wall it is given you have to provide a 8 mm bar at 6 inches center to center spacing and also 8 mm that is a main bar and the other one that is this dot and the distribution bar and the main shield that is longitudinal steel and the horizontal steel both are 8 mm bar at 6 inches center to center spacing and since here we are going to give the reinforcement it is mentioned you have to provide a 10 diameter bar at 6 inches center to center spacing okay and here the reinforcement will be bottom and also the top mesh you can see it here bottom mesh you have to provide the bar so in this way this is my bottom okay and also the top side okay so usually in the mat foundation and all we give top and bottom both the meshes okay so that is what it is mentioned here 10 diameter 6 inches center to center it's a both way bottom is the same thing top also same way. shorter and longer span both it's the same thing okay yeah so this is that uh, plan view of that okay first lift and second lift to lift portion your column here column here column here and column here and this is your rcc retaining wall up to nine inch above the basement floor and this is rcc footing first step you have rcc column here and again still it is given 10 diameter at six inches center to center spacing got it so that is how it is so this is the section for that particular building so up to here we have understood about the foundation details and all okay so what you are supposed to do is try to understand what can, what is the size of a footing given and based on that try to have a rough idea if you're putting up a basement plus ground plus three-story building or a four-story building what is the footing size that you're getting so now through our uh, knowledge you can come to idea that we have to provide a footing of seven feet by five feet nine inch but see again this is a just a thumb rule to get an idea uh, like what would be the uh, you know uh, approximate size of footing that will come if you're putting a ground plus b plus g plus three story building okay so that is how you are to, uh, supposed to that is how you are supposed to understand and also try to understand about the column reinforcement okay if you're putting up a column and if the size is like you know uh where is the size given for this column yeah if it is a 12 inch by 24 inch for a commercial building usually we can go with a 20 diameter 6 bar and a 16 diameter 4 bar again that is a thumb rule again it depends on the load and what for what purpose your structure is put up blindly we cannot pick the values like this ha huh. but to get an approximate uh, idea uh, we can take it as a thumb rule and we can try to uh, check out this when we practically do it on the etab software and all so i hope up to here your concepts are clear we are able to understand about the drawings so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you